Okay, y'all, this is a long overdue video. I've been waiting on this for so long, okay? But we here, finally. Look, y'all see the title? How to do shadow work. Shadow work is important, 2023. You must cleanse everything to be free. I just came with a new motto. 2023, you must cleanse everything to be free. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, shadow work. What is shadow work? What does that mean? What do we do? How do we elevate? How do we get more? How do we give more? How do we feel more love? How do we, oh, I got y'all, trust me, okay. Shadow work is you approaching an enlightenment phase with your other half, your other side, okay? Now, when we're younger, right? When we were younger, we hear these things about, you know, oh, I have split personality disorder. I got mixed personalities. I got so many people inside of me right now. This is all in our head. This is this, 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 this us, guys. Hey, when you look around, you go to, when you go to sleep at night, do something at home right quick, y'all. I want y'all, I want y'all to say free. In your head, say free on the count of three. One, two, three. Who just said that? Who was that? Exactly. It's not, it's not your darker self. It's not, a, it's you. <laughs> it's all you. You have one side to your brain, your left hemisphere, and the other side, your right hemisphere. It's still your brain. <laughs> it's still you, okay? Your shadow is you. But this is the you that you never want to address. You never want to talk to. This is like, think of, think of your shadow as your conniving, thieving, stealing, Grand Theft Auto ass cousin. Think of that. That's what your shadow is, but you love your cousin so goddamn much. You love him or her. So your shadow is that other half, that other side of you that just always gets away from you, right? You go outside, sunny day. You walk in, you stand up, you walk in. I see it right now. Who is this? This is somebody else? No, it's me. <laughs> it's always with me. In sickness and in health, I got myself. You hear what I'm saying? So that's your shadow. What you must do, you must find a place. You must find your, your, your safe haven. You know, some people like to do it outside. Some people do it inside in a mirror, in nature, at the pool with water, by a lake, in a library. Like people like to do shadow work in different places, but I'm not gonna tell you guys which place is best because whatever fits you, you know what's best, right? You are you. <laughs> Nobody else can tell you how to monitor and watch you because you are you. So what I'll say for me is I like to be in nature. I like to either drive, and meditate while I drive, be out in nature by the water, or, you know, from what I did when I was at my mama house, you know, I used to look in the mirror for like 20 minutes straight before brushing my teeth, before taking a shower. You know, I do it multiple times in a day. And I just look there and I say things in my head and I dissect problems and challenges that I went through as a kid that really hurt me and really scarred me. And I got through it. I got through it. I cried to myself. It's, it's a disclaimer. Also, it's y'all are going to cry. Y'all are going to cry. It's going to be painful because you know all the answers that is inside of you. Mind you, it's you. So you know deep down, if you just sit there and listen, you know deep down the root cause of all the answers to your problems. Now, I don't like to say problems. I don't like to address things as problems because, you know, in school we hear Word problems, math problems. Why got to be a problem? You just have to know how you're saying what you're saying. Shout out to Brother Polite. You know, he says, your words is a GPS to your reality. You dig what I'm saying? And that's a fact. Now, let me tell y'all this. You know, if y'all think that there's going to be a hurry up process, there's going to be a quick process because you got cheated on or you cheat on somebody else and they, you know, went off on you. They slashed your tires, took your keys, took your clothes, snatched up your drawers. Listen, it's, it's none of that. It's none of that. 
you must sit there with a notebook by your some people and also some people like to write out you know i like that as well journaling i love that but you are talking to you you are talking to your shadow ask yourself how many times have you really sat there and really talked with yourself how are you really doing if you had to say a couple of issues and problems going on right now what would you say y'all don't even know because y'all it's, it's a it's a constant chatter with the phone, to the computer, to the lights, to Instagram, to, oh, it's, it's so much. It's so many distractions that, that take over our shadow, right? The best places to do it is really in nature, I feel, because going out in nature with a book, and also some people like to use headphones with some music or some, you know, some high vibrations to, to subtly, you know, right? That's also really good too. But when you're when you're first starting out, it's really best you just you just eliminate all distractions. You eliminate all extra, you know, complicated things, man. Just be by yourself. Which if leave your phone in your car and just sit there. Go for a walk, maybe, and just sit there in nature, bottle water, and just breathe and just talk. You know, have Maybe have a couple topics that you want to address with yourself. Like, why did you do this? Or why have you always constantly, habitually done the same thing to these women, to these chicks, to these men? To, you know, like, ask yourself these questions. And trust me, you it will lead you right to the answer. <laughs> it will lead you right to the answer. Shadow work is much needed, 2023. Much needed. Because there's a lot of false identifying of the selves right? Walking around. Everybody wants to be somebody they're not. Everybody is looking at a certain self that is portrayed fake on the internet. The reason why you look up to these celebrities is because they live a life that you want, right? They live a life you want. You feel like you're not doing good enough. You're not hustling hard enough because you are not in the position that you are in. Or excuse me, you are not in the position that they are in at 21, at 20, at 25, at 18. Yes, there are millionaires who are investing crypto at 16, 18, 21, 25. Yeah. Is that you? Okay. You don't got to feel bad about it. <laughs> you don't got to feel like you are not growing because you are not growing in a way that they are. And let me tell you something too. They might have that lifestyle that they portray on Instagram, but trust me when I say, 90% of them are dead inside, dead. And they've used, they've used their work ethic and obsession only to run away from themselves even more, to get to the money, to get to that materialistic ideology of life. But when you realize that there is no, there is no value in, in, in comparison to the materialistic life, to the eternal life, oh, well, there, there, is, there is no comparison. There's none. There's none. So shadow work, y'all. Shadow work. Shadow work. Talk to that self. Talk to that shadow. Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. Doing social media and being on the internet, putting my face all over the internet, I've realized that the algorithm doesn't is not some like conspicuous term with technology. Bro, your algorithm is your audience. Your algorithm is your viewpoint, your perspective. That's what your algorithm is. So if you ride down the street and you don't have a seatbelt on, and you see a cop in the in the cut with his lights on. Automatically, most people are gonna think, "Oh shit!" and they're gonna panic. They're gonna panic, right? They're gonna think that the cop is gonna pull them over because of what they've seen on social media, on the internet. They've seen cops, especially you know what I'm saying. If you, they're pulling people over, and they just doing the most disrespectful, unrighteous things, right? So your algorithm sees cops as only one way. Your algorithm only sees white people as one way. 
black people has one way. You see us on the news. Lil Pookie getting shot. Lil Ray Ray got killed. Shot out Grandma House and three dudes. We see this. So our algorithm is our perspective, is our audience. So if I, if my algorithm is right within, guess what? With YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, my algorithm is going to push out a certain demographic of people, right? Which is also saying that my algorithm is going to withstand a certain group of circumstances, right? Ever since I changed my algorithm with cops and people and just a lot, right? I've gotten what I've been thinking about. I'm not stressed. I'm not worried. I realize we are all people. Yes, people have people are born with certain temptations and desires. I know that. I know that about people. I know that about myself. We are grown into a certain lifestyle that we didn't really ask for. Spiritually, that's another conversation, but we didn't ask for this. We might have chose our parents and our friends, but we can choose the life we want after our family and friends. You get that? So, your algorithm with your shadow, going back, bringing it back in, your algorithm with your shadow and with yourself, because that's what your shadow is, whatever you think, whatever you see, whatever you feel, that is what will be brought and strong into your life. And it's gonna be quick. It's gonna feel really strong. You must pay attention to the signs. The signs will be strong. The signs will be very, 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 very strong. Very strong. Out in public, once once you're cleansing all of this, you're journaling, you're, you're listening to, to higher frequency music, you know, Instead of me mugging everybody, looking around and looking all stupid and shit like you got shit on your face, you are now elevating your eyebrows and with smile, oh, what's up? You know, peace, hey, love, all right, love, okay, boom, you know. You're not, you're not responding to, to, to regular basic questions and comments the same way anymore. You're building. So if you ask me how I'm doing, I'm gonna say, I am absolutely spectacular. Amazing, productive day. When somebody hears that, they're not gonna think the same. They're not gonna think of you in the same light as everybody else who said good. Yeah, I'm good. How about you? Yeah, I'm good, how you doing? It's basic. <laughs> it's basic. If you wanna be basic, so be it. I've just never been that. A lot of y'all have never been that, but you've been taught a certain way. You've been programmed to live and respond and react to certain things in a certain way. It's time to change that. Shadow work, baby. 2023, we gotta be free. 2023, we gotta be free. And this is what I've learned. This is what I've acquired. And I don't like to say things that I've learned. I like to say I became more aware of this. Because talking to my shadow, talking to myself, I realized, wow. All the signs I've seen, heard, felt, cried about, meditated on, walked off about, was pissed off, upset. I knew it all along. <laughs> I was right, but I didn't trust myself. I didn't trust my shadow because you know why? I didn't believe in the work. I didn't believe in the time because I didn't put it in. That's why with basketball they say, or any sports, they say, you need to practice how you gonna play. Practice does not make perfect. Perfect is not a real thing. Practice makes permanent. However I practice, that will translate into the game. If I'm diving on the floor, if I'm in them passing lanes, if I'm communicating, screen left, screen left, come in tight, come in, I got your help, I got your backside. Hey, get paint, get paint. If I'm communicating, if I'm doing the work, if I'm spending the time and energy into bettering my gameplay, my algorithm, trust and believe, I am going to get more playing time. I am going to attract better teammates. 
I'm going to be a better leader. You see? You see how that works? It all dials back into you. It all dials back into your shadow work. You must sit there in a the gym, lonely and alone, and sit there and think about the game time moves. Think about the best ways for you to be efficient on the court. Be the most efficient and productive you can. Because if you don't, you will live a life full of regrets on what you could have done. Take the risk now. Put the energy into what you love and what you desire now. Put the energy into what you want and what you desire now. Put the energy into what you want and what you desire now. There is no past, there is no future. The only time we have is now. Make the change now. I'm gonna do it tomorrow, but there's no such thing. How would you react and respond if you if there was no tomorrow, yesterday in a dictionary? Every day is today. Every day is the day. Every day is a new day. How would you react and respond then? That's the same, that's the same way your shadow works. That's the same way your shadow responds and reacts. Because with your soul, your shadow, there is no time. There is no summertime, wintertime, spring, fall. There is none of that. All, all your shadow, all your shadow sees is your habits, what you're doing right now. Me using my throat chakra to convey this message to y'all all, all over the world, all across the world. My soul, my spirit, my heart feels this. And it's going to be more enthused. It's going to be more rejuvenated, more fulfilled talking about stuff like this. Building with people in real life and over the internet about stuff like this. And it's just gonna compound. It's like compound interest. The more you don't pay, the more you have to pay back later. It's just, it's, it's just gonna keep rolling. So y'all, this video is long enough. The message still stands. Put the time in now. Put the time into what you want and desire now. Put the time in now. There is no tomorrow. There is no yesterday. All you have is now. View yourself in a way that is extremely productive and you constantly have positive habits. View yourself like that before you go to sleep every night. Challenge. And I'm gonna leave y'all with this last thing, right? A lot of you guys would take sitting down with a celebrity before talking to yourself. A lot of you guys would sit and have a mentor before mentoring yourself. Ask yourself this, right? In your head, in the comments, ask yourself this. If you had a chance to talk with one person, dead or alive, who would it be? And I used to love these what if questions because it used to, it used to keep my brain, you know, moving and healthy and just thinking, right? Who would it be, right? You got whoever you want. None of y'all said yourself. <laughs> None of y'all said, you know what? I would want to sit down and talk to my best self, my best version of myself. What does that look like? Who does he or she look like? Wow. And if you only knew, it just took a couple tweaks in how you speak, what you do, what you consume, how you respond, how you greet people, what you talk about, and your daily habits. It took a little tweak to get to that best version of yourself. Y'all would be shocked. Y'all would be shocked. And what you worry and stress and concern about all the time be gone. We here. We here. I love y'all. Keep taking care of yourself. Your mental, your physical, your spiritual. Keep taking care of yourself, man. You are loved. We all love you. We need you. All right? We, we, we definitely do. We, if you watching this, we need you. <laughs> we need you to keep, stay strong and, you know, be 
a stronghold for somebody else because they, they this close from, you know what I'm saying? Dipping out of here. And thank y'all for listening.